My name is Passion Murray, and I make compost in the city of Detroit. I want to share with you a story about soil, farming, and compost, and how it can be a solution for climate change. Climate change is a big problem. It's happening because there's too much carbon in our atmosphere, but carbon is not our enemy. It's the building block of life. Everything alive is made of it. It's us. The problem and the solution are a simple matter of balance. Let's step back and look at the five pools where carbon is stored on planet Earth. Starting about 500 million years ago, when plants came onto land, carbon began to cycle in an amazing balance, a balance that allowed for life as we know it to evolve. Then one life form, us, figured out how to extract carbon from the fossil pool. We've been burning it for energy, putting it into play, and disrupting that balance. How we manage land and do agriculture is moving even more carbon from the soil and biosphere into the atmosphere. Specifically, we've moved 880 gigatons of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, which is heating up the planet and destabilizing our climate. Now, the oceans have absorbed a lot of this excess carbon, which is resulting in warming temperatures, acidification, and accelerating a mass extinction of sea life. In order to stop global warming, of course we have to stop burning fossil carbon. The big question is, where do we put the excess carbon to get the cycle back in balance? Remember when I said that soil was a part of the solution? It literally is. Plants, with sunlight and water, perform photosynthesis. They pull carbon in from the air and turn it into carbohydrates, sugars. Then they pump some of those sugars down through their roots to feed microorganisms who use that carbon to build soil. There we go, carbon move. The plants pull it in and the soil stores it. Nature's living technology is amazing. Scientists have recently discovered that applying a thin layer of compost one time sets up an ongoing positive feedback loop that brings more and more carbon into the soil each year. In concert with our regenerative practices like not tilling the soil, planting trees and cover crops, and good grazing, we can build and retain gigatons of soil carbon. This is carbon farming. This is regenerative agriculture. More carbon in the ground is good for us. It makes healthy soil. Healthy soil makes for more nutritious food and it holds way more water so crops are more resilient in the face of drought. That's good news for families, farmers like me, and everyone that eats. The way we grow our food, fuel, and even our clothes either puts carbon into the atmosphere or pulls it down into the ground. The regeneration of soil is the task of our generation. Our health, the health of the soil, and the health of the planet are one and the same.